need to put this on. It's Christmas season and for Christmas, I always like to do different types of hair so that I can give you like an idea of what you might want to wear for Christmas. And today, we're wearing Jordana hair. Look at that, it's golden. It says, love yourself and be yourself. All right, so let me show you what we're rocking with today. Does it have one of these? This is the best way you can store your wig. It's big enough, you can fit two wigs in there. Some goodies. This color today is almost like a ginger. What do you do when you get your hair? In the name of Jesus, I sanctify you. We are uprooting every stronghold. And then you can now wear your hair. I don't do sage. I do the name of Jesus. It has a nicely perfect hairline. Look at that. It's pre-plucked. It's good stuff, man. The lace is almost brownish. It's not as brown as I wanted. So I'm going to use my foundation all the way around it. I'm going to use my foundation. L'Oreal N10. Just put in a little bit like that. Like so. It's lace my color skin tone it comes with this thing and this thing i'll show you why it is good if you want to turn a normal wig into a glueless wig that is the best part the trick is you want to spread out the foundation before you cut the lace i can always take the foundation just before the knots this is where the knots are and if i put the foundation brush i can put it just right above i am done coloring it and that's what technically it looks like my husband is calling hey babe hey love i'm getting ready to leave here i'm still doing a video I love you too. so Oh, there we go it looks nice this is actually very good because it makes the lace that at the front to sit flat you start like that and then you throw it in make sure the hook do you see how flat it has laid no movement and this my friends this is my current hair situation you have also an option of actually going with the same brush and just dabbing it at the very front do you see how flat it's laying this is a hd lace you know what that means the holes are not visible the holes are not visible it's time to cut off this part let's get this out of the hair okay so there we go this is what we're left with as you can see so we're going to put it back you know where's the where's the hairline where is it you want this to lay flat and then you want to take this and put it just right below it and then hook look at how flat that is do you see that i don't even need glue and that's all we needed to snip out do you see that so that it has like that natural hairline all the time when i wear some colorful hair i usually think i need to bleach my eyebrows hold it into a bun I don't do too much because I don't sleep with my wigs on. I'm the type of person who after a long day, I would not go to bed with a wig on. Yeah, that's just me. I don't go to bed with a wig on. So we're going to let this sit for a bit and let it dry up. All right, I'll see you in a few. Let's see what we got. Oh. Look at that melt. Brilliant. All right, let's keep going. I kind of want to see... Oh, look at that. So we're going to do a middle part, I think. For me to lay the edges, I need the edges. I'll twist this area just like that. Just so that we can get like, you know how when you cut bangs, you kind of have to like do that. I don't know. That's just what I know. And then you cut it like, let's say there. There we go. See, they're all the same height. I'm going to just use this. So I'll take this and I like to spray it on the sink. And then what is in here is what's going to sort of like wet everything. And there I'm creating those nice little edges. To be honest, I just have never been like the thing I would say this is a strong suit for a king, you know? That's why I don't do them as often. That's the best I could do. We're going to have to deal with that. And then partition at the middle. Such a beauty. I'm going to put a heat primer. It's a little bit messy comes out like foam spread it nicely you can lay it as flat as you want to you have the option of using heat if you want to or leaving it like that run that kind of like that because i want this all the way back so that it's not all up in my face like that let's deal with the heat
I will put this lay it flat that burnt me so bad as that dries i'm going to do my makeup okay so that's the foundation my concealer a shade lighter than my skin tone spread it all out there we go it's time for the contour and then highlighting and then i'll be done i was thinking let me try and put on these eyelashes that they sent to me i have never put on any because they're usually too much oh my goodness guys <laughs> look at that i feel like this has to be one of the craziest eyelashes that i have ever put in my eyes i don't feel like they have that natural feel all right so flat the eyelashes are just super duper crazy all right so the hair is nice and flat look at that <gasps> wow i love it so this is the hair it's nice flat and done it has like those nice like the really nice waves that it came with I decided to do a middle part because I feel like I look good with a middle part I don't know, that's just me I love what it looks like. I love that it has melted so well onto my hair. I think that the only thing that's making me look different is the eyelashes, which I just, I don't know. Maybe it's also because I'm not used to wearing this kind of lashes. That's it. That's it for the video today. Everything about this hair is going to be in the description box below, so make sure you check out the description box for this hair and my code that you're going to use on the description box below. I think you're going to enjoy this hair. I love it. It's from Judonna Hair. It's going to be the first link in the description box and we'll see you on the next video bye